Welcome. Let me walk you through each step here on the mobile business card builder. Okay. What we'll do is, as each step, we'll have a question. I'll tell you here and have a question. And down at the bottom, you'll find that it will actually explain what we're looking for in each one of these fields. So what you do is, of course, is do a little reading and type in the information. The site title is for use in the browser bar, the top bar. Normally it would be a company name, a product name, uh, information, whatever you would put normally put up there. Okay, so we're just going to leave it at default there. We're going to move on to the next one. The logo for your site. You do not have to use a logo, but we recommend if you do not use one, if you're just going to have a, uh, a blank spot, there's a, uh, provided with it, there's a white.gif file. It's like a one pixel image and you go ahead and upload it and it will not be visible of course and it will take the place of the header. I found that 300 by 100 is about the perfect size okay for a mobile header. Now the you know if you're trying to do tablets and everything like that uh, that's kind of small but there's so many people out there using small screens we need to target them also. So let's go ahead and upload a uh, I've got a logo that I provided. It's a transparent one. So I'm going to go ahead and load that one. Okay, loaded it up and we're going to move on forward there. All I did was browse and, and find it. Okay, now you want to choose your header color. This is the background, okay? And for this one, I'm just going to choose a, uh, a black color. And you'll notice down here it gives you an idea of what the actual colors are okay and you can do a header your header can be different than the main body and I'll show you when we do the side here okay the the pages area it can be a different color uh, than the header but in this case I'm gonna make them both the same move forward okay the color of your text and since I chose a, a, a black background I'm going to go ahead and choose a white text color. Okay, now your home page headline. This is, uh, and it will become clear here when you show you on a site, or if you've looked at the example site already, you'll understand this a little. But uh, you just want to have something short. It's an H1 tag. It's just like a welcome, welcome to my site or something like that for the headline. Next, okay, and you can have your text here and you can use HTML if you prefer and you can use any type of editor to make it a free editor you could even use Word to make an HTML file to paste into here if you would like but remember you're keeping this short this is not a mobile site this is a business card site you want to be uh, short and to the point here with the information you're not providing them with a lot you're providing them a way to contact you just like a business card Okay, so I'm going to leave this just like it is. And same way on each page, we've got four pages. We've got a headline on each page. Okay, I'm going to leave these just like they are. You'll see more about it when we review the site. Same thing. You do put a little bit of information at the top of the page there. And move on. Your services. That's headline, our services. And what a lot of people would do here on the services page is maybe use some bullets and do a quick overview of the services they provide. And the contact headline. And here what I'll do is I'll show you the contact page. I'm going to leave this blank. And what you can do is this, you know, on the contact page there's no use putting more information there will be some some buttons there already okay very important on your telephone number here currently we have found that using the plus sign like so will actually trigger most all smartphones these days as in iPhone Windows when you click on the click to call or contact us, this will actually invoke the dollar on the telephone. OK, 
okay your email you've got a contact button and what this does is will actually open up the default mailing program for the phone I haven't not seen any of them that it will not work on it actually will whatever is the default program okay your address and on your address here that uh, is basically entering it in so when they click on find us locate us that you can have a Google map appear on the phone so you would just enter in your address the suite whatever the case may be there's no names or anything like that your street address suite and city name state and zip code main website URL remember you're dealing with people on a mobile device here so send them to a mobile site of some type here that uh, would be my suggestion uh, you could send them to your normal website or any site it's totally up to you it could be an affiliate link your site footer information you'll notice here that I have used some HTML you can use HTML in these areas and again basic HTML is fine okay now we generate the QR code for you so you can use it on your business cards or anywhere you would like okay now it's already set up to where it's generated you've got a, a large one generated for you automatically and a medium sized one what we're doing here is we're going to generate one of your choice however many pixels wide up to 500 pixels but uh, there's no use doing a 500 pixel one because it will already be generated for you so pick one it all depends on what your printer wants or your online printer wants on the size you want to pick here I uh, found that uh, if you use some places like uh, Vistaprint for say for instance online you want to use about a 240 pixel so I'm gonna leave it at 200 and experiment with it and find it but uh, you know like I said you're going to have a a few choices and you'll see here in just a moment okay that's the height of the code normally they would be square okay now this is the URL where you're going to upload this mobile site the one we're working on right now and what happens is, is the QR code that we're generating will have this embedded in it and it will be ready to go ready to put onto a business card or sign or whatever you're going to use this for Okay, now when we save and finish, we're going to choose a folder to save it in. And I will not put you through all of that. Let me pause the video here. And what we'll do is, is I'll save the site in a folder of my choice. And then we'll come back and take a look at it. Okay, I chose my folder and saved the site. You'll notice that this will pop up at the end don't worry about trying to save these QR codes it's generated a file is already generated for you you can save them from it but it's just to show you that they have been generated here's a 200 by 200 that you chose and a small one and you'll notice there's a 300 and also a very large 500 now uh, you may not think this is very large but since we're dealing with black and white here this can be a printer can use this on a lot of different things and make it very large no problem at all it is a PNG file all right and you also have the option go up here and save your project and what you can do is you save it you don't have to redo it if you're doing this for a customer or yourself whatever the case may be save it and when you come back if you want to make some tweaks some changes you don't have to re-enter everything so you of course you just go to file and then save as and then it would pop up and save wherever you would like it okay and it will have a uh, only be opened by this program so save it in a project file or something like that and here are the files that were generated okay you're going to have all of your images there's a couple of extra icons in here that uh, you could use uh, the ones we're using of course and I'll make another video on this the ones we are using are default and they're pretty easy to trade out you know again I'll cover that later but you've got a few files in here of course your index HTML file and also you've got your QR code we'll cover that in just a moment what I'll do is, is I'll show you 
remember I'm in a retro browser here not on a mobile device so it looks kind of large at this point but really on a mobile device it fits right in real nicely uh, this is uh, that's one thing about the uh, the generated information it fits into whatever size that you would like for it to it's pretty good for tablets and such as you notice that it actually will fit in so okay so let's go ahead and just take a quick overview here the home of course the about us and we're putting there's the header headline I was talking about you put a little information here and your services a lot of people would put a uh, bullets here and cover a couple of their services the contact on the call us that will actually on a mobile phone will pull up the the dollar and ask if they want to call you the email is the same thing will pull up a, a, a program to email you the locate us will take them to a map to get directions if they would like again remember I'm not on a mobile phone here or a mobile browser looks a little different and the main site that is the URL I was speaking of there uh, where you want to take them to your main mobile site or whatever the case may be and then we're back to the browser there let's go ahead and look at the QR code here and this is generated for you and all you need to do is to get these QR codes you do a right click and save image as of course it may be different depending on the browser you're using but basically save image as save the image to your project folder and you'll be ready to go and normally on business cards 100 pixels is going to be about right but you'll notice that if you use some of the online services if you try to use a small one it makes it larger and becomes blurry so it's best at least to start with a larger one and see what it looks like all right thanks for watching and in some other videos in the future here we will cover a little bit more advanced features and show you how to tweak and also we'll make new videos as the software evolves thanks for watching and have a great day